Greetings and welcome. I've got a little problem here for us. Uh, you might wonder why is this geometry problem showing up in the statistics and data analysis section, but uh, the concept that I want us to be familiar with uh, today is called the area addition postulate, that the big area is equal to the sum of the little non-overlapping part areas. Okay, uh, So that's kind of the big idea here. Um, and in this case, I'm actually using the area addition postulate in reverse, where the remaining area is equal to the big area minus the inner area, uh, is the idea. So if I wanted to figure this out, um, and we're going to use this type of skill later today, I would actually break this up into two problems. I would find the area of the trapezoid, and I would subtract the area of the circle, and I would assume that would give me the area of the leftovers, right? And I actually completely recommend drawing little pictures like this. Uh, I find it to be helpful. Uh, the area of a trapezoid formula, A is equal to one-half uh, the height times the sum of the bases. Uh, the area of a circle is equal to pi r squared. And the area of this is just... I wouldn't have a formula for that. It's just going to be this guy minus that. Uh, so if I want to find the area of this trapezoid, I should just be able to kind of plug in my stuff here. So that's going to be half that. Well, oh, I'm actually going to have to find out what the height is. I'm missing a piece of data. So uh, how could I find this height over here? Well, that height right there, in the case of a trapezoid, the, uh, these sides are parallel to each other. It has exactly one set of parallel sides. Uh, this height is going to be the same as this height over here. So um, if you look at this, if I draw this height, well, it actually constructs a right triangle, right? So there's some hidden facts that I can gather here. Uh, so the hypotenuse of this triangle is 5. Uh, do I know this length? It's 3. And actually, we uh, in calculating that, you said 13 minus 10 would give me the remaining length, right, is kind of what you did. That's actually an example of segment addition postulate, oddly enough. So that's three, so I've got three and five. Uh, does anyone know what the height is? It's going to be four, uh, and there's two ways you could do that. You could have done um, Pythagorean theorem, or you could have done a special right triangle, or, well, it, that's actually a Pythag triple, is maybe just the way I'd recommend doing it. Pythag triple or Pythag theorem. Right. If you know it's a triple, uh, then you can just spot it right off the bat. So let's calculate the area of this now that I have the dimensions I need. Uh, so I'll have area is equal to half the height times the sum of the bases, 13 plus 10. Uh, so half of 4 is 2 times 23. Uh, so this area is going to be 46. Now, uh, let's look at the circle. Well, I actually don't know any dimensions of the circle other than, well, it appears that it f uh, fully kind of fills, I guess, the, the height of this trapezoid, right? So this length across the circle, uh, what's that referred to in circle speak? That's the diameter, and what's the diameter going to equal? Four, because, well, if this height was four, uh, it's consistent across since it's parallel between, you know, those two sides are parallel. That looks like 41, but that's not, that's part of my dotted line there. I'll just draw a solid height there, bam. Um, so that means the diameter of the circle is also 4. All right, what if I want to calculate the radius, however? Yeah, the radius would just be half of that, which is 2, right? So now I can uh, calculate the area using my appropriate formula where I have uh, pi times uh, 2 squared. Uh, so that's going to equal 4 pi. Oh, yeah, I'll write that here. And then I'll, I'll get a decimal approximation. Why not? So 4 pi is approximately uh, 12.566. So if I want the area of my shaded region, uh, what do I do with those numbers? Well, my little chart up here tells me, my pictorial math equation, I subtract them, right? Uh, so I'm going to just do 46 minus that, 
and I get uh, 33.434. Uh, and that would be in square units or whatever units we would have had given to us at the original problem. But the idea of drawing these pictures, I, I want you to be familiar with that concept. And that's going to be helpful with today's lesson when we're talking about normal distribution. All right, so to find uh, an area, you can either add little areas together or take a big area, subtract another area, and get the remaining area. All sorts of concepts like that. Good stuff. So thanks for watching, Internet friends. Bye-bye.